So you most likely learned in school about the Black Death. That is what we now call the terrible pandemic that ravaged Europe during the mid 1300s, killing between 30 and 60% of the population and changing the course of world history forever. And while there are a few theories out there that it could have been anthrax or some Ebola type virus, uh, the general consensus based on archeological evidence and the historical record is that it was the bacterium Yersinia pestis, that is the bubonic plague, which uh, causes flu-like symptoms followed by uh, painful swellings around the lymph nodes, followed eventually by death. You probably also learned that the disease was spread by rats infected with oriental rat fleas. In fact, according to uh, one historical account, the whole thing started when 12 Genoese ships filled with men and rats infected with the bubonic plague landed in Sicily in October of the year 1347. <laughs> Throughout the next year, it spread north through Italy, France, Spain, England, and on into Germany. And by 1350, it had reached all the way into Scandinavia and even Iceland. While the first outbreak of the Black Death disappeared from Europe by the mid-1350s, it reemerged again and again and again over the next several centuries in Europe, uh, presumably kept alive in rat populations and then transmitted back to humans. Basically, while the disease was an epidemic for humans, it had become endemic in rat populations. There's just one big problem with this theory though. There is really no evidence of Yersinia pestis, that is the bubonic plague, being endemic to rat populations in modern Europe. And by all historical accounts, the Black Death was just as deadly to rats as it was to people. In fact, Likely the reason that it stopped short of killing all the people in Europe was because it actually killed all of the rats first. So if it wasn't hiding out with the rats, then how did the Black Death keep popping up? Well, in 2014, a group of scientists looked at thousands and thousands of georeferenced plague outbreaks throughout the Middle Ages. And then they compared them to tree ring growth patterns thousands of miles away in Central Asia, where the bubonic plague is known to be endemic to certain species of gerbil. What they found was that whenever there was a wetter, warmer, more plague-friendly year in Central Asia, just about exactly 15 years after that, there would be a bubonic plague outbreak, that is a Black Death outbreak, in Europe thousands and thousands of miles away. So this strongly suggests that every single time that there was an outbreak of the Black Death in Europe, it had traveled all the way from Asia across the Silk Road and into Europe and got there. It didn't stay in Europe with the rats. It was just transmitted via ships or overland to Europe from Asia. So while rats, just like people, may have transmitted and ultimately died from the Black Death. If you're looking for somebody to blame for the pandemic that tore us under the social fabric of medieval Europe and forever changed the course of world history, you should probably thank this guy, the German. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Mousetrap Genius. If you're interested in actually reading the 2014 study that I referenced for yourself, I will post the link to it down in the video description, along with all of my other sources, scholarly and not so much. And uh, if you wanna see more great videos from us, please uh, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to actually get notifications about our new videos. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, we hope you have a great, hopefully, bubonic plague-free week.